Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a quick everyday get ready with me using like a classic get ready with me using the KKW Classic Palette. Um, this is a collection that was recently released on the KKW Beauty website, um, Kim Kardashian West. Um, it came out with four lipsticks, four lip liners, and this palette. Um, so I only got the palette. And we all have seen we all have seen what it looked like. So I did go ahead and um film a video yesterday for this palette. And the video came out great, but I feel like it was a look that everyone a lot that a lot of people is already doing with this palette. I feel like it was a look that I've done already on this channel. So I said, you know what? I'm not gonna upload that. I'm gonna come up with something different. Maybe like an old matte look using some brown, maybe like a brown smoky eye. I haven't done one of those on the channel in um in a while. So maybe like a brown smoky eye. Um, if you guys still want me to upload that look, let me know. Um, if this video gets 30 likes, I will still upload that look. But if it doesn't, then I won't. Um, what else? And then, um, as we're talking, I'm going to compare this to the Mario palette. Because it's the only two palettes that she has released with her brands. I haven't tried anything else from the brand. So if you guys want me to try something that she sells, let me know in the comments. And I will definitely go ahead and pick it up because I am intrigued by the brand. So I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to go ahead and get into this. Get ready with me. Um, like I said, I did do the look yesterday. The shadows held up beautifully. Um... I do love her eyeshadow palette formula. Like, compared to Kylie's, I love Kim's more. Just putting it out there. So, we're going to go ahead and get to this. Get ready with me. My brows are somewhat done. I will link my updated brow routine right here if you guys watch my videos. And you're like, wow, her brows always look funky. Um, I have my full brow routine in this video over here. But, we're going to go ahead. We're going to get started. Um, so, let's go. So I just zoomed you guys in a little bit, and of course I'm going to go with my Fenty um, eye primer. Now, um, the formula in this palette is consistent with the formula in the Mario palette, in case you were wondering about that, because I was wondering about that. Um, the If you ask me, from me using both palettes... The formula is consistent. I don't feel like the Mario palette has anything different than the classic palette and vice versa. Um, there are, come if you, I'm going to show you in the end. I'm going to do a side by side of the two palettes. But one is more cool toned and one is more warm toned. There are similar tones, like a few similar tones in each of those palettes. But one is more cool, one leans more cool toned and one leans more warm toned. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to take my Sigma E25, E35, sorry, blending brush. So I'm first going to go into the shade right here, which is called Florence. It's like a matte tan color. Just to get my transition started. And you will get a little bit of kick up in the pan. Y'all, I am coming down with a cold. Like, I'm in the beginning. Very, very beginning stages. But I have medicine on hand. So I'm about to nip this in the bud now. But anyway. You will get a little bit of kick up in the pan, but not much. The shimmers in this palette are way more... They are very creamy, very smooth. Um... Of course, you can go with them wet to amplify it, but that's with any shimmer. But these shimmers don't go on with, like, a bunch of glitter and specks and all that. But overall, it's a really nice. The shimmers are really nice. I, I really, I really like the KKW um, eyeshadow palette formula. For yesterday's look, I used this, 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 and all three shimmers, and this one, and they all showed up beautifully on my deep skin, so that's that as well. So now I'm going to go with this shade, which is called Selfish, the same brush, just to warm up the, that is Selfish, right, yes, just to warm up 
the um transition a little bit it's like a nice um salmon color it's just gonna warm up that florent shade just a smidge Just blend this into that Florence color. And that's another thing that I noticed with yesterday using this palette. These shades blend beautifully with one another and on their own. Like if you need to blend into a few shades together, good stuff. Now I'm gonna take my MAC 217. Well, I'm gonna take the shade Gemini right here which the brown in this palette I love a lot more than the brown in the Mario palette because the Mario palette honestly the Mario palette is the one that leans a little bit more cooler so the brown in there is just way too cool for my skin tone and I just don't it like I don't like the way it looks on me this brown by the way I love I'm going to put the brown on the inner and outer part of the lid and blend it like all throughout the crease. You know what song I have stuck in my head? Um, Emotions by Drake off his um, Scorpion King album. I hate when I'm home alone and I think I hear stuff that I probably don't really hear, but I'm just going to go back with, and with a little bit more selfish. Over top. I want this to be really vampy and like kind of smoked out. So now for the center of the lid, I'm going to apply a little bit of um, Family, which is right here. It's like a really nice reddish brown. I'm going to take a very dense brush to do that because I really want to pack it on right in the center. And just blend it. No brown smoky. Maybe we add like a smidge of shimmer. And in the center of that, and in the center where we put family, we're gonna add a little bit of Chicago. So all the shimmers in here are named after her children. Um, there's, and it's a beautiful gold. Um, Gemini, the shade Gemini, of course, Kanye is a Gemini, just like me. Um, What else? Calabasas is where they live. Florence, I guess it's where they got married. I don't know what he met. I don't know. Um, just, you know, I noticed the shade names are really personal to her. Which I thought was pretty cool. So I'm going to go back in with, um, what I said this was? Saint? Chicago. Chicago. Just going back in with a little bit of family and just blending around that to get back some of that color we lost. I'm 
I'm gonna go ahead and do my face. My face is just gonna be you guys watching me do my makeup because I'm not using anything new. Um, I do have a first impressions video coming up, but it's not in this video yet. So I'm gonna go ahead, do my face, and then we'll come back and do the little lash line. I'll give a few final thoughts and then we will keep it moving. Trying to find a way to make it easier to say that there's just one thing on my mind, and I think it's time for you to realize I want you all to. All right, guys, so I am back, and it's a little hot in here. We're gonna go into Gemini, which is that dark brown again, on the lower lash line. Just to like, smoke it out. I feel like I want a little ham on the purple blush today. Ooh, dropping lipsticks. It's gonna dust some of that. I think it adds a nice pop of color to my face. So I'm gonna bring this all the way down. Not down, like oh, all throughout my lower lash line. And then then back into family, and I'm gonna use family to like really just smoke it out. And then before we do the inner corner, I'm gonna take my favorite eyeliner, which is NARS Larger Than Life um, Longwear Eyeliner in Via Veneto, which is just a really nice dark black. And I'm going to apply some eyeliner to the lower lash line. Over here, it got, over here it got a little messy. So please excuse that. And then for the inner corner, I'm going to do the same thing I did yesterday because I really like the way it looked. So I'm going to go into North, which is a really nice copper shade. It's a shimmer. I'm going to apply that to the inner corner. Dry. 
this is this is this is a shade that I would probably prefer to use wet. As you can see, it's super pretty dry, but I would love to see this shade wet. Cause yesterday I didn't wet it and blend it. And then I'm gonna take the shade Saint, which is right here, which is another shimmer. It's a really light champagne. Um, and apply that as well, but more towards down here. Like right in there. Which, it just helps open the eye up. Like, I don't know if you can tell. Like, this eye looks a lot more open. This eye looks more open than this one. to my Huda Beauty 3D holiday palette and this is the Golden Sands edition and I'm actually just going to take a little bit of Tahiti and maybe mix in a little bit of uh, Seychelles I don't know but I'm first going to go in with Tahiti which There we go. There we go. And then for lips, I'm going to use Peanut by Morphe. So I feel like with this like smoky eye, it'll be cute. All right, everybody. So this is the finished look. Very classic, very perfect for every day. Um, so now we're gonna get into final thoughts. First things first, as just like the Mario palette, I love the whole aesthetic of this palette. Very simple, clean cut, great product on the inside. Um, and I am a sucker for packaging just like everyone else, but I really love the whole aesthetic of her packaging of, for her brand. Now with comparing it to the Mario palette, as I was saying earlier, and I'm going to show you, with an exception of the blue and the really nice burgundy in this palette, ooh, the Mario palette leans more cool after the, as the classic palette leans more warm, if you can see that. So, if, for example, if you look at the two browns in the palette, you get what I'm saying? Or oh, the two, uh, the gold here and the gold here. I'm also going to run through this because it's hot. It has been in the 90s all week this week in New York. And, like, I don't have a fan on because if I turn it on, you guys are going to hear it. I don't want to annoy you guys, so I'm going to make this quick. So, this palette leans more cool, this one more warm. Um, They do have similar tones, but like I said, the outcome on the eyes may look a little bit different. Um, I do feel like if you have this one, you can definitely still go ahead and pick this palette up. Now, this one, they're both great for every day, but this one, I can see myself using it for more like brown smoky eyes. I can see myself using the classic palette or the Mario one, but we're just talking about the classic palette. Um, but yeah, I love, like I said, I love her formula. I was a little worried that the formula may not be consistent, but I am glad to say that for me using it twice, the formula is consistent as it is in the Mario palette, and I really like her eyeshadow palette formula. This look is perfect for every day, um, or a, a day out, a lunch, brunch type of deal, what, wherever. This look is perfect for that. Now, this is a very neutral palette, which we all own, we all have seen. So, do I think this palette is a need, must have? No, because you probably have these shades in another palette. But, if you are looking for a new neutral palette, just to switch it up a little bit, then go ahead and go for this. Um, I'm not really into neutral palettes right now. It's the summertime. I want my pops of colors. But for today, but for days like this, when it's hot, I want to do my makeup and go. This is the type of look that I would normally go for on days where I just want to go. So this palette is a 10 out of 10 for me. I absolutely love it. I'm so glad that I own it. It is $45 on her website with her $8 and change shipping. Kim, no. We cannot have that. 
especially for any skin tone but if you are a deeper skin tone and you're looking for a neutral palette because some neutral palettes that I own there are shades in there that I don't use they come up too light on me they may pull it may be a brown but pull gray on me because of my skin tone if you are a woman a woman or man of color this is a perfect palette where I feel like all the shades will look good on you. I've used every shade in this palette except this one here. Um, these two here. Other than that, I've used every shade in this palette. And I feel like if you look, you are a deeper skin tone, you're looking for a palette that will look good on you. Like every shade will look good on your skin tone and come up how it is on the pan, on the eyes. Definitely go ahead and pick this up. And it's just an everyday palette. Um, it's a go, go, go for me. Let me know what you guys think of this look. look I hope you guys enjoyed. Please do not forget to subscribe before you leave. I would love to have you guys a part of the Beauty Bee family. Let me, I really want to do a Q&A, but I need at least like 10 questions to do that. So please, please leave me questions. I don't care where you leave them at, as long as I can see them. Um, send me a pigeon, do whatever you gotta do, but I really wanna do a Q&A. So, and nothing is off limits. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and I will see you on the next one. Mwah.